And Kirsten was born April 7th, 2005. Um, and I think we knew from the beginning when she came home from the hospital that something wasn't quite right. Um, she had a very difficult time nursing. And um, within two weeks, we found out that she had a heart disease. She was always very petite. She was very small. Um, but when she became mobile and it was time for her to start talking, she was talking, but nobody could understand her. Her sounds weren't developed. She had asthma. We were in and out of the hospital for croup, um, just constant infections. Around the age of five, at her five-year well visit, we discovered she had scoliosis. I've always said, something's not right. I feel like everything's connected. Um, and everyone just kind of said that, no, the scoliosis really wouldn't have anything to do with her speech, or the speech really wouldn't have anything to do with her heart, and their frequent illnesses, kids just get sick. She needs to be in a place where everything is comprehensive and everyone talks to each other because I felt like maybe that was one thing that went wrong with our story is that the doctors were looking at her medical records but they weren't really speaking to each other. Every person at this facility that has spoken to us has wanted to know our story. They literally have taken the time to speak with us, to listen to us, um, and to learn as much as they can. And that's what made me want to come here. Dr. Kirshner operated on her, and now she is talking completely normal. And that was important to us. Um, because with 22Q, she's always going to have hurdles. She's always going to have struggles. But this is one thing that she's not going to struggle with anymore. All of the doctors are very compassionate. They're very understanding. You see the doctors talking to each other. And that made us feel good. 